We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. you. Can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with a fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us. Silence!
yourself of this poison! Pata! For Sparta! Get me to Megaris. Now! But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The Wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Lower the oars! Archers! We need you! Get down! Row us! Go! And throw! Shoot! We're the landing! Position! Wait until they're out of the range! good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to... knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Master! My ship needs sailors like you. Join us. You'll make a worthy addition to the crew. I got him. Good! He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can...
can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. The war has changed the face of the big world. If it's not Spartans or Athenians, it's bandits and pirates. God protect us all for mankind. The Athenians have blocked the entrance to the bay! Raise the sails! Archers to the front! The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! Ooh! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. If Nicolaus is your father, I guess that makes you my brother. Did you take a blow to the head during battle? What are you talking about? The wolf is my father, as well as yours. Ridiculous. Before he adopted me into his home, he had two children. And they both died in Sparta many years ago. Except for the one standing before you now. You almost fooled me. But I wasn't born yesterday, Mystios. Let's stick to the subject of why you're here. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. It's my honor to serve Sparta. I've come to pledge my sword to the wolf of Sparta. If you wish to pledge your services to my pater, you can do so by helping me. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield. 
and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Could be one of Stentor's scouts. I'll get every it's... last... What happened here? What business is it of yours, Mistios? Do you know anything about this? I'm a professional. ...and a friend. But what's that supposed to mean? If it had been me... ...I'd have been smart enough to try and hide the evidence. <laughs> Fair point. Whoever did this was brazen and foolish... ...leaving it to be so easily discovered. Or they wanted to send a message. Stentor sent me. I'm here to help wherever I can. Stentor sent you? Sparta doesn't fully control Megaris... ...yet. It's easier for me to move freely in certain areas of Megaris than a Spartan. The Athenians have proven more resilient here than expected. But they will Before not stand. Before Sparta, yes. I've heard the speeches. But until that glorious day comes, we should find out what happened here. Do you have any ideas? Not yet. But I will. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. These were professional soldiers. Slaughtered to a man. I don't think bandits could have done this. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far, though. They didn't use the carts. Looks like they went this way, into the forest. Don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. So, was it the Athenians? I found some fragments of a green crystal. Bandits, then. The mountains here are riddled with caves, and the war has made them brazen. If it was Athenians, they would have taken the carts as well as the supplies. And bandits? They wouldn't have stood a chance against trained Spartans. What are you saying? I'm not sure. Whoever did this went into the forest. So, I'll start by looking there. There they are! Is this a private gathering? Or can anyone join? What? What are you? Please! Please just leave! You don't look like murderers. Was that the Spartan's mistake? What? Wait! No! Please! You don't understand! What's to understand? It all seems perfectly clear. Please! Let me plead our case! You'd better tell me why I shouldn't just kill you and return the goods. Please! I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> You're the sorriest band of thieves I've ever seen. By the gods, no! We're citizens of Megara! 
Please, show mercy. This war has already cost us dearly. Like the mercy you showed those Spartan soldiers? I... we... we just took some food. Irkanos told us to take it, said he'd make it easy for us. Irkanos? Yes, the mercenary. He said he'd provide food, told us the Athenians would never let their people go hungry. Explain yourselves. It's not wise to anger the Spartans. Please, we're not thieves. This is our food, our crops. They took it, left us with nothing. Our children are starving. Ah, so you repay theft with murder. A fine lesson for your children. Murder? No! Please, we never harmed anyone. Uh, Mistyos told us where to find the food. Everyone was already dead. Enough! I didn't come here for a debate. It's too late for talk now. I came to find who's behind this crime against Sparta. Stand aside. You don't need to die today. I'm returning the supplies to the Spartans. Then you will do so over our dead bodies. Don't be stupid. Take some of the food, enough to get by. I'll say I killed you and claimed what was left. They will be satisfied. But the food! What of our families? Your families will not benefit from your death. Accept my offer and don't steal again. It won't be me who comes for you next time. Yes, Mistyos. Thank you. Harry, take what you can carry and go. Quick! Did you find the ones responsible? I found your supplies with a bunch of hungry Megarians. And? You stole that food from them. They were starving. The supplies were essential for the war and ridding Megara of the Athenians. Hungry Megarians are the least of your worries. But there's something else. Have you heard of a mercenary called Irkanos? Irkanos? Yes, he's working for the Athenians. So the rumors go. This is all he's doing. These mercenaries are persistent. I'll give them that. You've done well here. But if you really want to help Sparta, I have a task for you. What did you have in mind? Hunt him down. Show him that no mercenary dog will interfere with Sparta's plans. Since you have such a high opinion of mercenaries, why even send me? I'm sorry. It's just this man Irkanos is like a thorn in our foot. He's a menace to all Spartans here. Please, will you help us? I'll do it. If he's this much trouble, I take it there is a sizable reward. Of course. Just think of how much he'll have on him with all the drachmi Athens has given him to thwart our plans. I suppose you're right. Any idea where to start looking? He could be anywhere. Most likely, he's nestled up close to the Athenians. We've sent out a couple of patrols, but they never returned. And we can't spare any more men at this time. Sometimes you're better sending a woman anyway. Make sure every Spartan is accounted for! But... Don't come back until you have the tablet. Yes, Polemar. Lost something? Not lost. Stolen. Stentor sent me. Said you've been having trouble with spies. I'd take an Athenian spy over a Spartan traitor. Either way, he must be found. He took a tablet with vital intelligence. Where's your spy? Is he still in the camp? Wouldn't need you if I knew. I doubt he's still here. Can't have gone far, though. He was injured when he took out the guard. This doesn't sound like something a Spartan would do. He could be an imposter. We've had raids on our supplies recently. And Megaris has more mercenaries than a goat has ticks. And what man would turn their back on Sparta? I'll get him and your tablet. I'll be back soon with your tablet.
The mountains and forests of Megaris are dangerous, and he surely didn't work alone. I'm more than capable of handling your spy. Here. My thanks. What do you want? Who are you? I'm the one who's going to return the tablet you stole. Why did you steal the tablet? Because I was paid to. Who paid you? A mercenary. Irkanos, all right? Gave me the Spartan uniform, told me where to look. Easy, Drachmi. Give it to me. I'm not leaving without it. There's no winners in this war. But there are opportunities. Perhaps we could come to an arrangement? Give me the tablet, or I will cut you down. I can't fight you. Here, take the tablet. I should get this tablet back to the commander. Make sure every Spartan is accounted for! By Apollo! Was everyone asleep? Come on! Find the bastard! So, did you find the traitor? It's not traitors you need to worry about. He was a spy working for the mercenary Irkanos. Irkanos. How many times must I hear that name? His palms must be overflowing with Athenian gold by now. Did you get the tablet? I should get the treasure and leave quietly. The Athenian soldiers won't be so eager to fight when they don't get paid. I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So, tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory I'd against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong. Caring in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense a sadness there. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war. For Sparta! Tear their fucking 
heads off! The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. The wolf awaits. You fought well today for a mercenary. Don't keep the wolf waiting. This is it. What do I even say? So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death! I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You were my father. You were supposed to protect me. You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my brother because you wouldn't. The Oracle decreed that Alexios had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty Enough! anymore. I can't change the past, Sire. I will live and die a Spartan. There is a large reward for the mercenary that can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! <laughs> Though you deserve death, there is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghosts of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect. I loved you and your brother as if you were truly my own. But you are never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her? Wherever Marini is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. 
Beware the snakes in the grass, Cassandra. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. So, did you kill your father? Step... father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaos raised me, trained me. He was my father. Even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaos thought so. Some good news, praise Ira. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fakis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money and an explanation. Aye, Cassandra. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. Mm, I'll think about it. Good. You know, kings and queens travel to Fokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that... Yes, I know. That's enough Oracle talk for now. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But... Nikolaos's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Cassandra, in all the excitement, I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house? It was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Alaka, that priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks, Varnavas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Vinor has a lot of explaining to do. In position for sailing! The commander is taking the helm! Beautiful. It is, my friend. It sure is.
wait for the commander's return. Fuck them. Fuck. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another. And don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle. You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. <laughs> You're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago, and they're nowhere to be found. So where is the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh... We sort of help out. Oh, your girl? Yeah, best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened, and bring them back. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. Your skills are a joke! Get back here! Death to the enemy! At least it will be quick for you! I found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? I was trying to break this to you gently. I found your ship. It was wrecked. Oh. And my Yiki? This was all I could find. It was her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where's your boat? Ship? It's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain. Ah, Mystheus. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Why did you send me to kill Nikolaus? Because I knew you could. Oh, why him? Because he was brilliant. He would have taken Athens in a month, two at most. And Stendor doesn't have the wolf's genius. You wanted to save Athens? There's no profit in a quick war. 
I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistheus, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with a wolf? He mentioned my mother. She still lives? Not for long, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? You are going to bring me her head, of course. Are you out of your mind? You killed the man who raised you for a sack of coins. I only assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Snuck away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Elpinor. Oh, Phoebe, you led him right to me. Elpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Elpinor's selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compared to Elpinor. I'm going to look under every rock and every shadow until I find and kill this vile serpent. Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinor? We can talk later, in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well... Is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. Ah, Laka. Varnavas, use your head. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn people being turned away. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? 
I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irovatos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was. What I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well... protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. So much for using finesse. here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guard! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. 
What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles! I want names! I don't know! I swear! They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods... All those people... You're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. I should tell Irovatos what Epithea told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. <sighs> well? What did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. Malakas liar. <laughs> 